Hey guys, Danny Del Fuego here. The video that you're about to watch is actually a test video for a series I'm working on called Danny's Delicacies, where I go and try like actual non-microwave food, trying to branch off from the microwave masterpiece stuff a little bit so my content doesn't get stale. Uh, with that being said, I filmed this on a whim with some homies, so the audio quality is garbage. Try to look past that if you want. If you don't want to, just skip this one. There is a hidden link, but it's not really too, too plot relevant. It's kind of just a little fun Easter egg for uh, later. So yeah, uh, please enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, all that jazz. It helps out. Uh, more videos on the way. Enjoy. Hey guys, it's your boy Danny Del Fuego, and right now I'm in Carmel, Indiana, and today we're visiting Portillo's. Let's head inside. I'm typically known for my microwave food reviews, but today I'm in the Midwest, it's a beautiful summer day, so I thought I'd mix it up a little bit by going to an actual restaurant. This here is Portillo's. It's an American fast casual restaurant chain based in the Chicago area that specializes in serving Chicago style food such as hot dogs, Maxwell Street Polish, and Italian beef. This is the Carmel, Indiana location, but even still, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this place, and while I'm in the area, I might as well give it that old Danny Del Fuego review. Hey guys, it's your boy Dan. And you know, sometimes I like to take a little break from the microwave side of things. Right now, I'm in Indiana, Carmel, Indiana, I think. And uh, today we're going to be trying some Portillo's. Let's get into it. So guys, we are back with the food. Uh, what we got was a six-piece tender, a large fry with cheese sauce. This is a cake shake. And uh, a double burger here. So. I'm going to be trying these items individually. Let's get into it. Okay, so first up, we're going to try the lemon strawberry cake shake. Yeah, so it's got like the cake texture to it a little bit. It's got a nice frosting flavor. A subtle little bit of lemon as well. It's a pretty good shake. I'll get more in depth on that in a little bit. Let's try the fries. Now, Fries are really telling of the place. If you got good fries, it's probably pretty good. If you got bad fries, that's a little bit of a yikes. So we got a couple sauces. I'm gonna try ketchup first. Oh wow. The contrast on the crisp versus the softness of the inside is very good here. There's no mushy fries. These are amazing. I really like the flavor of them. Let's, uh, let's get a little cheese dip going on here. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's some of the best hot cheese sauce I've ever had. I'll be real. Next up in the house, we're going to try one of the tenders. It's pretty juicy. I'll, uh, I'll have a little bit of it. I got a bunch of sauce to try, so we'll get a speed on this. Oh, wow. The outside is just thick enough and just crispy enough. I'll give you a satisfying crunch. We need a tender inside. I'm gonna try a pine pine now. Yeah. You really get the juiciness and tenderness of the meat with the outside crunch, and it makes for an amazing contrast that I've not seen anything else. What's up? It's getting a little cheesy in here. Liquid gold. Mm. The seasoning is some of the best I've ever seen. With the cheese sauce, it really makes it such an amazing combination. Try the ranch. Mm. Yeah. This is a very tangy. Dude, I'm watching, I'm not actually going to go for another dip. That was so good. Mm -hmm. Now the wheel test. Honey mustard. Now I love honey mustard, but some places don't have enough honey mustard. We're going to see if this place does. Like. Oh man. Oh, it's so good. 
It's got a little bit of a feel to it, but it's a nice mix of sweet and spicy. That really makes me happy. The mushroom flavor is pretty good. Um, yeah, no, not too well. We got nothing. Really. Now to the final big boy. This is a big chungus right here. I must admit. Are we looking to try there? Look, there's cooked to perfection. And uh, cheese is really nice. I really like the cheese beer they got on there. The ketchup and mayonnaise really adds so much. But the, the big thing is the burger. It's well seasoned, it's well flavored. Easily one of the best burgers I've had in a very long time. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this meal and give my final thoughts. Let's go to it. All right, guys, so. I finished the meal, and now I'm going to give my opinion. So, honestly, Portillo's is a very good place. Uh, I would actually recommend going there if you're in Carmel, Indiana, or wherever this is, near Indianapolis. It's an amazing place. Uh, flies are nice and crispy with a good, soft inside. It's perfect fly consistency all, all the way through. The cheese sauce was legendary. The burger had a very, like, it was very filling, very juicy. Something I liked about it is that you know, the, the bun was like speckled on top. So it wasn't like a sesame seed bun, but I had like little things on top. And it was just, it was really nice. That like, it's just a big burger overall. Uh, I got to try the hot dogs as well, like a little bit ago, uh, off camera. And uh, I can say with full certainty, those are also very good. Uh, great flavor, you know. It's, it's just amazing to me. This place is good. I didn't spend a healthy chunk of change on here. But service is fast, food is great. You're definitely getting your money worth if you come here. It's definitely a stop shop for all things good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Stand out.